most important for me for the Columbia River Treaty is that we find a way of treating each other on each side of the border equally. We know that there's major benefits on both sides to be accrued from striking a good deal. How do we make sure that as Canadians we get a good deal? I'm curious about what Canada can do to maintain our, um, our autonomy and our ability to assert ourselves. I think the main thing I want to understand is uh, how we're preparing, I think, for the future in terms of the demand for water. Will it be scarce? What about its quality? Will we have access to it? What about the demands from uh, the south and who are our allies down there and who might be considered our ad adversaries as well. I want to learn more about it because water and energy are going to be huge issues in the future. The treaty should take into consideration that if we are obliged to send this water downstream, we may in fact be sabotaging a lot of our own efforts in our own area here, in particular for agriculture, drinking water and hydroelectric. We lost our fruit industry in the Arrow Lakes in favor of the Okanagan fruit industry. They're complaining now because the Americans and their apples are out competing the BC apples. Flood control was greatly, greatly undervalued from the Canadian viewpoint. Uh, what I'm hoping that we will do this time is take into account the real value of what it is that we're providing. Aquatic life uh, in the riparian zones along the lakeshore are, I believe, negatively affected by extreme changes in water level over such short periods of time. Many of the spawning areas that fish used to use are no longer available because of water levels going up and down so much during the year. How will we address the missing salmon at the source of the Columbia? at Columbia Lake. Wildlife habitat, the, the winter ranges which uh, are now underwater in so much of uh, the West Kootenai particularly. I'm hoping that uh, at some point in the future we're going to be able to uh, restore salmon runs around the dams back into the Columbia and Kootenai Rivers. I just want to say um, I hope there are more young people coming out uh, to an event like this to learn more about um, Columbia um, River Treaty issues. And um, I mean, whatever happens, I really hope that we don't lose any more habitat. Dad kept telling us that once the Libby Dam goes in, we wouldn't have floods anymore. And so far that's been true. I would support keeping it the way it is. It seems to me like there's an awful lot of money going to the provincial coffers right now. And uh, quite frankly, there's damn little coming back up here in this particular area. It is really interesting that uh, very little has, uh, very little focus in all of this has, ha has been on the residents around the Duncan Dam. So I advise people in the basin, stay interested, Make sure you know what's going on. I feel that people should be informed and uh, be a part of the decision-making process.